Ian Yates joins us now. A lot of the lies and deceptions that come through the media comes through these morning TV show interviews. So they've got this Ian Yates guy on, and he's CEO of one of the thousands of organisations that we all pay for. It's easier to talk about that New March nursing home where there was a cluster or a spike or something. Now they're appointing an external advisor. And he also talks about government regulation, but it's a pretty low level, low key interview just to keep the coronavirus bullshit in the news with one of these distraction stories, along with some of the other distraction stories they've got. They're um, hyperventilating about the Ruby Princess and Chinese researchers somewhere. Or... So it's not as heavily scripted and directed and tightly controlled with, say, like the interviews with Gladys or with the Prime Minister or with Police Commissioner Mick Fuller. But he does have a script to read, and he starts out reading the script, as you can see here. Watch his eyes reading the script, and you can hear him trying to pronounce the words that are not his. Well, obviously, the uh, regulator, the Aged Care Quality and Safety Commission, uh, has come to the conclusion that this would be of assistance to Anglicare in moving New March on in a more positive way. But let me just say that the way that we really protect our aged care uh, aged care consumers in Australia. So he's yeah, struggling with words, his eyes are darting about as he's trying to read them. He's one of their less refined readers of these bullshit scripts. I mean, who calls someone in aged care a consumer? And unlike what we're now hearing from overseas, uh, where, in fact, it appears that in some cases many of the deaths weren't from the virus. I think with some of these lower-level interviews, they think, look, there's not too much damage can be done. Just read the script, let them add limb, and then, you know, wrap it up. So while he's still sort of looking down at where he was before, his eyes don't seem to be darting around as much reading, and he's certainly not stumbling over words. He's, they're coming out very clear, concise now. <laughs> What did you say? Uh, where, in fact, it appears that in some cases many of the deaths weren't from the virus. Oh, well, he, he added a bit of a head, confident sort of head flick from to the side. He wasn't doing that earlier on and uh, sort of stumbled at the, to somewhere. There. I'm not sure, you know, what was, was the director doing right? <laughs> right about now. <laughs> they were actually from the effects of people in those facilities not being given the care that they need every day. <laughs> Holy shit! Quick! <laughs> These are many of the reasons for deaths. We're not seeing that in Australia, but it is about maintaining staff regime. It's also about, and this is a vexed issue, it's about maintaining... Right. <laughs> David Campbell, get right. <laughs> this guy's out of fucking control. ...contact of those visitors with their families so that the families who are involved in their care can continue it to is do gonna, that. Ian, I'm going to have to leave it there because we're almost out of time. But Wait, you cut me off because you're almost out of time. Well, you only cut him off when you're out of time. If you're almost out of time, let him keep going. <laughs> no, see, that slight delay, they can't just cut him straight off because, you know, they need to prepare, bring the next segment forward to keep the continuity. Thank you for your time this morning, but it is a complicated issue and I'm not sure it's going to go away uh, very, very soon. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that fucking sellout, Puds, David Campbell. He's pissed off. They know this guy fucking hoodwinked him. <laughs> That's the last time Ian Yates will ever <laughs> be on morning television again. Well, the virus is killing everyone who died of something else. <laughs> oh, see where he's going down the path that, you know, if people get, like, watch this interview um, with some Irish, um, an Irish interview, and they said one of the biggest causes of angst is people are dying without seeing their fucking you know, relatives for the last time. They don't want to start fucking highlighting that, do they? Oh, that's